In the Carolina kitchen today, beef tips, but these aren't smothered in gravy. They are part of a decidedly lighter dish that still delivers on amazing flavor. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Joe Scully is here with us. He is the proud owner and executive chef of a new restaurant. You know his old restaurant, of course. But tell us about Chestnut. Chestnut is downtown, uh, right across the street from the Aloft Hotel. Uh, we're only open for lunch and dinner. Okay. Um, but really, really nice sort of uh, urban feel to the place. Very different from the Corner Kitchen. Okay, so yeah. a much different feel. You went a different direction. Absolutely. And so tell me a little bit about the, what, is this on your menu? Uh, this is a, something that we might do as a lunch special. Okay, what is we, it? Hopefully we won't make that much smoke. What this is, is this is a chili seared beef tenderloin tips, and you can get these from your butcher. We actually generate them by cutting our own steaks at the restaurant. Okay. And then what you do is, is you just sear these guys in a very hot pan, and then while they're searing, you nimbly make a salad to go underneath them. So what you have here is um, just a little bit of iceberg, you toss that in there, and then you add in all your goodies, uh, some red onions, uh, jalapeno peppers, uh, tomatoes, which are fresh diced, and then a little bit of Manchego cheese for inside the salad. Well, that's and a th different cheese. What's that taste like? Manchego is a Span aged Spanish cheese that's really sharp. Okay. So then what you do is you just set your salad up like so on the plate. And what kind of dressing did you use? Oh, it's a lime dressing, and that'll be in your recipe when you get them. All right. And then what you do is, is you just you barely cook these. This is like you're cooking a bunch of teeny-weeny little steaks, right? And so the chili and the cumin, and of course we got the recipe for that as well, is an oil-activated spice. So hitting it in this hot oil really, really brings out the flavor. So it'll give you a really nice, authentic kind of Mexican flavor but you really don't want to cook it very much, like medium rare. So you're just going to toss this. It I would smells so good. Yeah, it's amazing, and it's so simple. So let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you have to do this in a pan, or could you use the same spice rub and make kebabs? Will yeah, it work the same definitely. way? Definitely, yeah. Okay. And then what you do is you just put this on top of your salad, and then you can top it with a little bit more manchego, like so. And if you really have to have some starch, you can just ring the thing with some tortilla chips, like so, and... Yum, now that's a meal. Yeah, that's a rather large portion. I'd say that's, that's enough a, for two. I was going to say, that's huge. Yeah, we could share that, and we'd probably be happy. Okay, I'll share. Okay, good. That sounds good. <laughs> Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way, or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. New recipe, new restaurant, looks fantastic. I'm glad you like it. And that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.